Well, if you have a chronic health condition like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes, you know how expensive prescription medicine can be. Now the cost of drugs, generic and name brand, is skyrocketing. Fox 4's Jennifer Gordy takes a look at what may be causing this and how you might help ease the pain in your wallet. Yes, yeah, sourcing definitely increases 100%, 1,000%, even in some cases 6,000%. Amy Lavoy is a pharmacy tech at her family's business on Bannon Street. We've been in business for over 80 years, and so uh, my uncle and my father are aware of the cost of the drugs um, from way back when. Um, so um, when I inform them of the cost increases, they are shocked. A couple of examples, Mycolog cream, an antifungal treatment, jumped from $49 last July to $169 this year. Amitriptyline, a generic antidepressant, increased overnight this May from $18 to $400 for a bottle of 1,000 tablets. It's hard to pin down just what has catapulted prescription prices almost out of reach for some. I recommend you pick up the Wall Street Journal and look at pharmaceutical companies and see what their profits are. It is astronomical. They are making big dollars. You can make it if you try. Some blame the president for the extra dollars they have to spend on prescription meds. I think the current administration has put these things in place so um, people will have to be at the mercy of the insurance companies. And you have to buy the expensive insurance, you have to buy the expensive medicine, you just have to. Lavoie says some patients even consider stopping their medication because of rising costs. She warns that's not a good idea. When something is too expensive, we do take that extra step to call the doctor, talk with the nurse, and see if we can find an alternative for them that is um, less expensive. Um, we don't want our patients to go without medication. That's unhealthy and um, you know very, very risky. But the costs are causing a different kind of pain to the pocketbook. It just doesn't seem like there is end in sight. In Beaumont, Jennifer Gordy, Fox 4 News. Lavoie suggests your pharmacist may be able to help you find a less expensive alternative if your prescription becomes unaffordable.